Uh, how do you develop yourself in these other areas that are needed to succeed as an entrepreneur? Do you okay. go for co training courses, training programs? Do you go for uh, do you go to enroll for courses, or you just sit under some mentor, or someone you trust? I do almost everything. Well, tell us in specific terms <laughs> I, what you do to educate I read, yourself. I have mentors. I go for trainings, and um, I go for seminars. I listen to people, and then for me, okay, like um, reading. Like um, what one of my mentors told me, he said, most of the time, during the day, you're working on others. But when you are alone in your, in your bedroom or in your space, that is the time you need to work on yourself. Hmm. And how do you work on yourself? You have to read. You have to, you know, reading is... Um, Reading is a gateway to, <laughs> I don't know how to put it. If you read, it's like in another world. It transports you. It transports you to another world. You begin to see, you don't see things the way every other person sees things. Because you, you've experienced one world that they have not experienced. Mm. Like, okay, my, my mentor told me that um, you, when you sleep as an, okay, we should try at least wake up by 4 o'clock. And then 4 o'clock, what do you do? You read. You for um, religious people, you pray, read, meditate, meditate, write your affirmations, do your affirmations. By the time you do all of that, you are ready for the day and you've equipped yourself. And then the day, you're just to give out all those things. Like there's one saying that he usually says, um, Dr. Abibo he will yeah. say that, um, that when others are sleeping, you are determining their day. Oh, dear. That's deep. <laughs> you know, at 4 a.m. I'm awake, I'm determining your day, and you're still snoring on your bed. So that's what um, achievers, that's what they do. So I've done my to-do list for the day. I've um, read, I've um, done meditation, I've done my affirmation, and all of that. And I just come out, and we, work, we go out together. You think we're the same. We're not. Oh dear. We're not, <laughs> oh dear. We're not on the same platform. So you, 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 you join the day you let out yeah what you have equipped yourself with exactly and then you come back home to re-equip yourself again exactly. so that re-equipping is very necessary for success for sustainability and success yeah if that's I get what you keeps correctly. you abreast and then it also helps you you know what you know because i you know when i started this business yeah. eh, the knowledge i was using then i'm not i'm no longer there i remember i used to have a, I have a mentor when I started this business, and then he was an architect, and he had this lovely place. His use of space was wonderful. It was, you know, I, I used to really look forward to any time I get to the office, I quickly go to his office and peep, and then I keep listening to him. He, my first office, I remember he did it, you know. But right now, we met at a site one time, and then his job was cancelled, and then they asked me to pick up the job. For me, it was a humbling experience mm. because it could have been me. What happened was that he stayed at that point. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a way you times, can... And then times passed him. Exactly. And then right now, I keep telling young people, I keep telling my friends, I keep telling everybody around, the way time is moving, you can't even, you can't sit, you can't rest. You just have to keep walking. Supersonic speed. Because if you're not careful, you'll be left out and it oh will be too fast. By so, time you realize. if you have um, an idea right now, you're working on it, and you think, oh, this is a wonderful idea, it's a multi-million idea, I have to do this, I have to do that. If you keep, if you stay there, somebody will come and take it from you, and take it further than your mind can even so carry. So you've got to keep moving, you've got, you've got to keep going. Exactly. Tell us what the competition is like in this industry. I'm not in competition anymore. <laughs> That's a joke, but really, <laughs> in a way, <laughs> in a way, I look at it like... Uh, Am I really competing, especially in this battle? Because the, the way I do my work is different, too. I, I like the way you stress uh, it. The way I do my work is different, too. <laughs> Confident. I don't, I don't work like any other person. So when people work into my space, the space yeah. I've done, they can tell that this is Glory's work. I remember a friend of mine that came from UK mm. and went to one restaurant I, I, I did and said, Glory did this place. 
for crying out loud, he has been in the UK for like three, four years. Yeah. And yet, you know. He still so remembers. He just knows my feel. But that's branding, actually. Yeah. Consistency. You know, he just knows my feel. So, for, um, but competition, well, they're there. You know, some people, especially <laughs> when they don't know, yeah. they just think, ah, okay, ah, should be is the same thing. Let's go and talk to this person. But what I'm trying to, um, to do right now is um, to create a kind of system whereby even my competition are my clients. So if How would that work? Eventually, I don't get the job. The money still comes to me one way or the other. So I'm trying to build that now and then I'm really working on it and we are already getting results in that regard. Mm. So, so, so you, you, you're not just even talking about skills of doing this job, but also because what you just did there is uh, coaching. You're using NLP strategies. Yeah, because I believe children can be talked to. They understand. If you speak to them, they understand. They want good things around them. They, so even if at the end of the day that child breaks a thing, he will feel bad. He won't just do it out of, oh, I'm happy I did it. He will feel bad that, and you see him trying to explain, oh, I didn't do it intentionally and all of that. Child, children listen if you talk to them in the way they understand. So, uh, What suggestions would you give a startup in terms of the options available to enter into the industry or to enter into the sector? Okay, well, right now what I advise people, because like you said, my, my case is rare. I would advise that um, you go for training. Okay, like abroad, you have to do like um, four, two years, courses, six months, and all that. You, you need to go for training. If you cannot afford the training, another easy way that I tell people is that understudy people. Learn to work for free. You might just find someone you can understudy. I'm telling you, if you find somebody you can understudy, and don't because you are understudying somebody, you put in little effort. Put in all your efforts. Serve as if you are getting paid for it. No matter what, even if you don't get rewarded, I'm sure that even God will reward you for it. So, and I've seen people who have done a lot of stuff like that, who worked for free, and then they've been greatly rewarded for it. But right now, everybody wants immediate gratification. You want to make money like... You want to be boss. You know, you want to be boss like... So, we need to learn to serve... So if you can't afford training, go for um, work for free with somebody who is into what you want of to some do. Sorts. Yeah, or you as in that's the best way. And so understanding people is the best way to learn. Not even not even in class, not even going to training is good. If you have all the theory and then when you understudy people, you you get you get much more than the the skill, you get the heart of the job. Because every job has its own heart. They have, so every job has its life, has its heart. So if you don't get that, you just, that's why you see some people, they just start because there's money in it. They start. And then at the end of the day, they, they just do it after they, they get time and then they end. get bored. Ah, I don't want to do this thing. Because there were, challenges will always come in business. Yeah. So when that, time ha when that time comes, what do you do? If you're not passionate about it, if you do not have the heart of the business, you'll be out of it before you know it.